am so sorry about how creepy this is. Adam with Tech Tive, and we're going to jump into this Movie Studio 16 Platinum tutorial. And uh, we're going to talk about how to make text, how to make fire come through your text. So it's actually pretty simple. First, we're going to take this picture in picture and track and just delete it. It's going to be in our way. And there's a couple different ways to do it. We can do fire that shows through text and fire that shows through a picture. Uh, it's got to be a particular kind of picture. We're going to get there in a second. So first, let's start with the text. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop my fire in. This is just fire on a black background. And this is going to be the source of all the fire that we're, that we're watching. And then we're going to go to Media Generators. And we're just going to grab Titles and Text right there and slide it on. Now, this is simple. All you have to do is go to Text Color. And you need to go over here to this slider and slide it all the way down. That's the opacity. Now you're not going to see it anymore because if you go to advanced here, the background is also see-through. So if the background is also see-through, we're not going to see anything. So we got to have the background not see-through. And there you go. That's that is a pretty simple way to do it, right? It's a pretty simple way to put f some fire behind text. You can change the scale. line spacing, whatever you need to change about it. But uh, you can also change how zoomed in the fire is in the event pan crop. So there that fire is a little closer to the text. You can get it to where it's more of a broad streak of fire. All sorts of, all sorts of possibilities here. So, uh, with that in mind, let's go. Let's add the picture. So I'm going to get scroll this back in, and I'm going to go to Project Media, and I'm going to grab this picture right here. And I'm going to throw it on. Now, any picture that's white or black. Uh, can work. It's got to be simply white and black or black and white. Um, and it's got to be a kind of a simple image to really to really sell the effect. Uh, first I'm going to go to Event Pan Crop and I'm going to go to 16 by 9. That's going to let it fill up the frame there. And then I just drew this in a couple of seconds here in uh, uh, just a paint software. And then I will go to uh, Video Effects. First you're going to need the Invert Effect because we actually need it to be um, it's white and black. We need it to be black and white. So we're going to invert it right there. And now this effect's going to work. We're going to make the white see through and the black uh, not. And so you, obviously, whatever image you design, you can design a lot of fancy, cool things. I'm just demonstrating the effect, but um, you can imagine a lot of cool things that we can about to do that we're about to do here. Uh, but here's the inverted version. And then if you just go to this hamburger menu on the track it's on, right? So this is on this text track here. I'm going to hit this hamburger menu, go to compositing mode, and hit multiply mask. This is the one kind of mask you can actually do in studios, in movie studios. Not uh, so honestly, you can kind of create your own mask in Movie Studios just by uh, overlaying whatever uh, whatever white on black overlay you want. Um, not to mention the cookie cutter effect too. But that's a pretty cool effect there, right? You know, we'll watch it for a second. Look at that. That's that's actually really creepy. So I'm sorry I made such a creepy thing, but that is how to put fire make stuff show through your images you can imagine there's a lot of possibilities here much more than just fire um, and and it all depends on how, how how good this looks all depends on how good your uh, design is that you're showing through so that's how to make fire show through your text and images in movie studio 16 platinum I have a pro version of this as well uh, thanks so much for watching. This has been Adam with Tech Dive, and we do lots of tutorials here on this channel. Uh, so subscribe if you're looking for more. Like if this video helped you out. If you would like to purchase this software through our affiliates link, that would help us out as a channel a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.